Hi, it's Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to install IVMS 4200 onto your Mac device so that you can access your CCTV cameras either locally or access a remote site using the software. Now firstly, what we're going to need to do is open up a web browser and we're going to need to go to google.co.uk. Once we've gone to Google, if you enter into Google, Hike Vision and then OSX. And if we search for that. So this will give us a few options, but you want to go to the Downloads page. Once you're on the Downloads page, on the left hand side you'll see an option that says Client Software. If you click here, it will then give you a list of software. The one we want is the IVMS 4200 for Mac. Now we click download and agree to the license agreement and this will download. Now depending on the speed of your internet connection this might take a while. It shouldn't take too long but once it's downloaded what we can then do is run the application. So if we click into it your Mac may tell you that it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. So what we need to do is go to the Apple in the top left hand corner, go to system preferences, then security and privacy and then we just click here open anyway. Once we've done this we click open and this will let us install the software onto your Mac. If we go through the install wizard it will ask you for the password for your Mac you just enter that and click install and then click close. Now the software is, will be successfully installed on your Mac so if you go to the Spotlight search finder in the top right hand corner and search for IVMS 4200. Upon loading for the first time it will ask you to set up a login. Now this is so you can protect the software and have to require a password every time you log in. If you tick enable auto login it won't ask you for this password in future. As we're into the software if we enter the wizard and go to show online devices it will ask you to type your password for the computer four times. Now this is because it's looking across your network to try and find any other devices. So as we can see we've successfully found one on our network. So if we go to select device it will then add this to the add device screen. We can give it a nickname, we we'll simply call it CCTV and then we can enter in the username and password for the DVR. We then click add at the bottom and make sure export to group is checked as this will allow you to add the cameras all to a little folder as shown in this screen here. So if we click next, once we're on this screen select the group from the right hand side and then click import all, click next again and then click finish. Now if we go to the main view and hit play down the bottom all of our cameras will be connected successfully. So this is how you connect a local device. Next we'll move on to how we connect a device that's not on our internal network. So if we go back to the control panel and we go to device management, this time we're going to go to add and firstly we're going to enter in a nickname for the device. This is just something for your convenience so you can identify it. So for ours we're going to enter in Alliance CCTV. The address will need to be either your external IP address or a DDNS host name that you set up for the device. We'll just enter ours in here and then we enter in the username and password for it. If you click add it will just take a minute as it's looking across the internet to try and connect to the device and if it successfully found it it will show it in the list here. Now we can go back to the main view and we can see that Alliance CCTV is there and we hit play at the bottom and it will connect the Alliance device. So this completes this video tutorial. If you'd like to buy any Hype Vision products please visit our website on www.mieccTV.co.uk and don't forget to leave this video a like, a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos.